Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Steve on the camera again. Today we are showing you a brand new release. Uh, this is coming from uh, um, from uh, the Arrows Hobby line um, over there at Hobby Zone. This is their all new twin 64 millimeter F15 Eagle. It's a beautiful airplane. Builds with four screws. You glue the tail on. Um, and that's it. All the decals come applied the way you see it. It does have drop tanks and missiles and stuff and or external tanks which we'll show you in a later video. Um, be sure to check out the video we did on this. We did a full unbox, assembly, and a little bit of a setup and we'll talk about a little of the cockpit setup here too today. Um, this will be the first flight out uh, and uh, you know this is the second airplane in a series right behind the MiG-29 videos we did which you guys can check out. All those videos, the F-15, the other videos we were doing on this and the MiG-29 You'll be able to see those on the RC Informer YouTube channel. Do a search or in the upper right-hand corner of this screen, uh, we'll have the little uh, information card, the white circle that you can click on and drop the menu down of all the other videos when we you know, post them and get them up. So um, we've got this thing uh, ready to go. I've got my battery in and everything. A couple things we didn't talk about uh, during the, uh, the initial video I did was really the setup and placement of things. And we'll probably talk about this a little after this first flight. Is you can see the receiver, Steve. You got that in there okay? Yep. I got my antenna placement. If you can get down here, yep. there's one going this way, and there's one right here. Can you see those okay? Sure can. And that's the configuration I used. My wires come up from here, they run all the way under the board. When I got it out of the box, you'll see in the assembly guide, the build guide, whatever, we, we, the wires were all coming back here like the receiver was meant to go back here. So what I did is I put some um, servo extensions. I probably used like uh, some like maybe four or six six inch extensions to bring the receiver up to here because it just seemed like too much of a jumble back in there you can see the battery in there I got my uh, my floor in there my um, my my my, uh, my shelf liner with the double-sided scotch tape instead of the velcro in there and um, but it just seemed better to bring the receiver here instead of all that stuff jumbled in the back and it seems to fit well so if you can run it under that board that's probably a good way to go um, the, um, the, uh, the what is it the uh, the tray in there um, screws down in as you guys will see in that uh, in that assembly video so we're running the spectrum 3200 6s 30 c pack in here for for cg wise and steve we will power this up uh, please guys check our links in the description below if you guys buy one of these and you use our uh, link to purchase if you click on it and go to our cart you can put it in your cart and uh, and buy one you support our channel we get a little commission out of that and um, please like and subscribe guys uh, share our videos we do appreciate that if you subscribe that'll let you know when the new videos are uh, are, uh, are, 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 are coming out they'll, they'll alert you to it so but mostly hit that like button guys hitting that like button really supports uh, our channel it sends a message to the YouTube algorithm to spread our videos out to more people it helps us grow we do appreciate that guys definitely so we are powered up i did do a calibration on this already but i think i'm going to do it again let's bring the throttle back up let's power this up we're flying this guy's non-stabilized today let's bring that back we have no stabilization in this just a receiver and so forth um, just wired up cold from the factory so we'll see how it does i did make a few changes to the flight control so we're going to see how that works today let me get all this back in here and I'll show you as follows. Steve will zoom in. So we'll see how this is, Steve, on the first flight. Can you see that? Uh, can you get in on that okay? Yep. I think, uh, I can't really see it that well, but I think it's second hole from the middle, from the inside, I think. So they were all the way out on the end. So we were getting so much aileron throw. In fact, this is full throw with 125% travel, which is probably too much. So I have 100% and I have 70 in. It's probably going to be more like 100 or 70. I'll probably start off with 100. Same thing on the elevator. Steve, you want to get back there? This is just our starting point using my best guess, okay, from the manuals, throws, and stuff. Still a second hole, and you can see right here, I'm going to turn my throttle off. You can see right here, that's full deflection, okay, at 125 travel. Um, oh, I take that back. That's 125, that's 100, and that's 70. So I don't think we're going to really need all that, but I didn't want to go too close to the inner hole, and that's, that's our 70% travel. But again, I'm gonna start off in the middle rates and everything. Landing gear is pretty awesome. Check this out in the video, the the, 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 uh, the assembly video. Lots of compression all the way around. We're flying this off of grass today. Be sure to foam tack your E-rings. Do a quick cycle. This is beautiful gear, guys, right out of the box. It's pretty, pretty darn sharp. And um, this thing is over center brace driven. So the retract unit, Steve, I'm gonna go into here. Steve, I didn't show you this before. 
I don't know if you'll be able to see, but right here, can you see that white thing in there? Yep. That's the retract mechanism. It drives this overcenter brace. So, and it just pivots back here. It's a lot like the FMS Tiger Cat. That's the same way that, that setup is on that. But it's very cool. This is a tough metal overcenter brace. And we're gonna see how this does on grass, guys. Bearings in the main wheels. And the nose gear is a little one, but it should do okay on our grass. They actually haven't mowed here in a while, but we're gonna check it out. So um, let's see, make sure everything's good. Right, left, up, down, left, right. And then our flaps. This is where the question mark is. You can see I'm dropping down to, man, it's about 15, 20 degrees of flaps. Full flaps is down here. I don't have any elevator to flap mixing. So that's part of what this flight is about is trying to see what the elevator flat mix is on this thing if if it needs it at all so it probably will but i didn't want to anticipate that and kind of second guess also i did activate my flap menu in this thing um and before i did that the flaps were actually working they actually already had a program just to sign a switch so there's already a pre-programmed flap setting in this thing if for some reason you don't have a computer radio which i thought was kind of interesting so all right steve ray roll Hit it. All right, should be good to go. Let's see what happens. See what we get. All right, we'll see if we can taxi out. Steve, if you want to get on a lot of wind sock so people can kind of see what windy conditions. This is going to be a short flight, uh, I hope, today. We're not really trying to do too much craziness with the plane today. Just to get it, get one flight on it and everything's working okay. We get it trimmed and tuned. Then we'll, uh, we'll get another battery in it. I'm going to get one setting of flaps in for takeoff. All right, seems to do okay on the grass so far. Very narrow here, so you got to be careful with this thing. Steve, why don't you move up a couple steps? There we go. It's got wingtip lights, as you can see. All right, here we go, Steve. Ready? Go. Take it off. Oh, beauty. Comes right up. Flaps are coming up. I'm going to back off on the power. Remember, guys, no stabilization in the model at all. I'm just flying it cold. We're going to get, it, it's going to get beat up by the wind a little bit here for sure. So, looks like it's trimmed pretty decently, Steve. I'm going to trim the nose down a little bit. It's rolling on me a little bit, so I'm just, I'm going to a low aileron rate because I don't think we need all that rate in there. Coming by hot, Steve. Yeah, it's fast. It's uh -huh. definitely an F-15. So I am at 70% right now on the ailerons because it seemed a little touchy even where I had it. So full throttle. That's into the wind. It's a very windy day, folks. So we'll probably come back on a lighter wind day to show you. But so far, no crazy bad habits in this thing. That's on the tailwind pass, so it moves right along. This probably will be a good candidate for a stabilizer, but let's do this, Steve. I'm gonna drop some flaps. Let's see if it does anything. That's full flaps. I tell you what, Steve, it seems neutral. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It doesn't seem to be doing much, so that's why I didn't want to kind of anticipate what it was doing. So here, we'll bring it by. Presentation. Oh, that, that hums right along, very nice. by hot. I'll go vertical in the middle, Steve. You ready? All right. Full throttle going up. Here we go. There it goes up there. Real nice flyer. Okay, I'm getting the gear down, Steve. I'm going to put uh, one... Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm turning base to final. I lost you. I'm sorry, Steve. Yeah, big time. See. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I just got one setting of flaps in. You got it back? Yep. Let's bring it on in. And let's see how she does. Yeah, that's beating it up a little bit. Pairing a little power. Very nice, very nice, very nice. What can I say, Steve? Yeah. It's a grass field jet. Yeah. I mean, it really is. If you have some grass like we have here, you shouldn't have any problem. Even with this tailwind, it's not like it's got yeah, some terrain there. But hey, the taxi's real nice. Very nice flyer for the wind with no stabilization. In fact, Steve, I'm going to put it right in front of the windsock. Can you see the windsock, what it's doing? Yep. I mean, it's pretty much...
much howl in here, guys. I mean, it's, ah, that's what do you say, 10 to 15? 15, yep. Yeah, I mean, it's it's some good wind, and it is, it is, uh, it is pushing a bit. It is gusting just a little bit. But awesome bird, folks. Uh, it's just very windy out here. We want to get it out on a smoother day. I, I tell you, from, from flying it, I landed it here with one setting of flaps. Um, I'm going to put my safety on. I will say, it does not need a flight stabilizer. It flies great without it, even with this wind. However, it would be a good, good candidate for one, especially since, let me put the flaps up, especially since there's this nice shelf here. It would definitely smooth it out. So, um, but it doesn't need it. It flies good, actually. Flies nicely without it. I was very impressed. I was expecting to have a little bit more wing rocking, but I didn't. Steve, you want to get on the ailerons there with those holes that we saw. This is 70% travel, so that'll give you an idea of the kind of deflection that it flies well on. Even at 100, it, it was okay. It was just kind of touchy, So, and that's with that second hole. And then I never went out on the elevator. I never went out of 100%. It seemed like I had what I needed there, but just make sure you don't use those outer holes on your servo horns. You really need to be uh, on that, um, that second to outer hole. So. Um, Anyway, Steve, you got any comments? Sweet airplane. Guys, this thing is awesome. It's a really nice bird. I'm really impressed with the overall fit and finish. The decals, the stickers are nice because it's not just a gray F-15. F-15, it's multiple stages of colors. Uh, these are stickers. Same thing with the tail. Steve, check in on that. The National Guard. I'll try to turn it here so you can get... Can you see both of these? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's got a beautiful finish. Oh, and I did do this to the rudders too. Let me... Let me point that out, Steve, right there, too. You, you see the horn right there? Yeah. Can you see it's on the second hole, too? Yep. All of them were on the outer hole, and it was just too much throw, guys. You really just don't need all that throw. In fact, the rudder flow, throw, if you want to get in on the rudder, Steve, you can see that. That's. I don't have a rate set up for mine. I just have a 100% travel in it. That's all I have. So um, there, I'm using, I personally, I'm using absolutely no expo in this airplane none um so uh, but that's personal preference that's your control field folks and how you like to fly it so um just because i'm not using any if you do start to put some in you know put 10 percent 15 20 to start off with and that's maybe about all you need but um let's take a look at the gear steve because we landed it nicely but even with this little wheel up front if you've got grass like this uh, that's well groomed. You won't have any problems. So actually I take that back I don't think there are any ball bearings on these two wheels. I was mistaken. That was something else. There's no bearings on any of the wheels, but There's your cycling of the wheels Super nice antenna details awesome nose cone comes off with a magnet check out the antennas Steve Yep, really nice those come on the airplane. You don't have to glue those the the, the intakes right here are all plastic so you can't ding those they're they're super super nice and um that's it you got your fan hatch cover here steve get in on the engine detail yep see that nice it's either molded or a 3d printed part i'm not sure but it's got all the little actuators and stuff for the nozzles and everything the detail for that uh, your fan hatch cover lots of cheater holes your single esc is right in here so um but twin 64 millimeter fans, two ESCs, I should say, and a hatch cover for that as well. So beautiful model. We'll end up throwing some ordnance on here and we'll uh, we'll show you that too, guys. But I tell you what, we're going to put, I think, a 4,000 pack in here. Oh, CG. I don't know if I talked about that. Um, there's my CG mark. I stuck my own sticker on there. The front edge of that mark, th these CG stickers are about 10 millimeters um, um, in, uh, in diameter. So the front edge of that mark, you got that okay, Steve? Yep. The front edge of that CG mark, I think is where the book said it was 125. The aft edge is 135. This is actually flying like right on that. So um, when I put a heavier battery in to make that CG, I'm either gonna have to shift it back or accept the farther forward CG which we might try a little bit farther forward just to see what it does because that might it was pretty smooth as it is but i think having the cg maybe just a hair forward like maybe 120 or something might smooth it out just a hair for this wind so uh but awesome awesome decals awesome airplane check out the eagle up front that's all a sticker so let me get our battery uh let's check our battery real fast steve let me see if i can get down in here um, again that was a spectrum 3200 pack we had in there let me see if i can pry it out i left my old glasses at the table so 
I'm gonna have to kind of wing this, but there's our battery. You do need the battery to keep the tail, you know, <laughs> keep the tail down or up. Uh, but let's see, it's a little bit warm. There's our Spectrum 3200. Let's plug this baby right in. And let's see what we got. I think we're down, oh, Steve, I'm not gonna be able to see that. I think we're at about 20, actually I see it. We are at 24%. So that's about a perfect flight right there, right about where we ought to be, right about where we probably, uh, probably ought to be landing. So, um, and I think that's it guys, stay tuned. We'll have another flight out. In fact, the next flight after this, um, we'll do um, a 4,000 milliamp pack. We're gonna get a set of spectrum in there next. So stay tuned guys, uh, just check out the, uh, check out RC Informer and in the upper right hand corner, I'll put links to that as well. So I just wanna try it with a bigger, bigger battery next. Oh, one more thing. Check out the gun detail, Steve. Yep. Can you get in on that? Yeah. That's really cool. That's very nice. You do have wingtip lights. I forgot to show everybody that too. The wingtips on this are nice. Can you can you see that okay? Yes. Yeah, so there's some, some shade there. They did a beautiful job on the wingtips, painted lens cover. Um, there's a red one on this side. These tips right here too, I don't know if you can focus on that. These are plastic tips on both sides of the top tip tops of the uh, vertical stabilizer. So awesome bird guys check this out at hobby zone we'll put the links in the description if you guys click on that link in the description below and you put it in your shopping cart and you purchase it we get a little commission at no cost to you guys that supports our channel and we really appreciate that guys otherwise please hit that like button hitting that like button that's what gets us uh recognized uh, by youtube and uh subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get the new videos uh as we post them so Steve, thanks for filming. Thanks for watching RC Informer. And as always, guys, 